Peace, this is my introduction. They say greatness doesn't come overnight, so I'm not rushing. Spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching. Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me. Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon. This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing. Standing tall, never too far. Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall. Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all. I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall. Hooray, it's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. They not from around here. I think it's in their face. Who they? Who they? They not from around here. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. Man, they not from around here. I think it's in their face. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Wallace. I am Wallace. Like there's no tomorrow Chris King KG N-O-O-B What homes you ain't know We're U-F-O Cargo khakis, polos and fresh kicks That's the definition of what the cargo kids is S-O-S, yes, space style swagger I never do anything right I'm backwards, I'm so galactic So erratic, you niggas on my old swag You can have it the world is mine and your girl is too so do us a favor make room for the crew wow who they who they they're not from around it's gotta be my imagination i think it's in their face i think it's in their face i think it's in their face they're not from around here i think it's in their face who they who they they're not from around it's gotta be my imagination i think it's in their face i think it's in their I think it's in them face Man, they not from around here yeah. I think it's in them face There is Comedia, also known as Mookie Around the City. I have here Knockout Health and Wellness, your new boxing and fitness virtual assistant in app. You can video chat with trainers, queue up previous sessions, request libraries of various workouts, fully customizable workouts to fit your boxing needs in home. Form, technique, character building, strength, endurance, meal prepping. Hey, knock that out. Knockout Health and Wellness, download on your smartphone today.
And we live, baby. How you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Who That Podcast. Oh, and I'm over here. We are the <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> wait, bring it back. Welcome to the Who That Podcast. How you doing? It's another episode. As always, I'm B. How are you? We got the Captain Paco over here. I mean, let me see. Let me find out where we at. Uh <sighs> Well, Kimmy, here wow. we go. Up there it we are. Is. What up, what up? <laughs> and we have the pleasure of having two guests that I've been waiting for them to meet each other for about a year now. So I'm very excited. I'm very, very happy. We have, uh, well, two um, uh, friends of the show. You've already met both of them before. Where am I at? Right here? Yes, that's your camera. My God, man. <laughs> My God. All right, we have... We have uh, Mr. Uh, Josh Hay is back um, joining joining us. How you doing, Josh? Uh, living the dream. Living the dream. Living, living the, the dream. dream. All right, all right. And then we have the uh, multi talented, the lawyer, the man <laughs> with the plan. We have Mr. James McVeigh back joining us. How you doing, man? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Yo, I'm glad that y'all came. I'm I'm very glad y'all came. This is a uh, Am I back over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry now. about looking at them. Just talk. Thank you. All yeah, right. Yeah, cool. stop looking at them. You the one kept telling me this. Look, 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 look. No, I'm telling you to look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, of all weeks, this is the best week um, uh, for us to have both gentlemen on the show because we have a lot to talk about. Uh, I think that everybody pretty much understands what's been going on in the country. If not, don't worry. We're going to cover it. But gotcha. Before, before we get to all of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's start off with uh, how you doing this week? You good? Uh, everything's been good, man. I um, I just been working, you know. All right. Just All doing right. what I do, keeping my health up, you know. Just uh, raising kids and you know, just another day in the hood. Paco was a mob boss yesterday, y'all. Oh yeah, he was yeah. a mob boss yesterday. Oh shit, no, tell me about that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, let's talk came, about the shoot. He came out so player at the at look. So we did the shoot. I want oh, to get, I saw uh, them pictures. I know what you talk about. I saw that pinstripe. That yeah, was yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so in character the entire time. Like Paco was 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 a mob boss. Literally, right? literally black kingpin. Yo, he didn't stand up at full height the whole day. He was just like, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey. "Yo, it was so fun." Uh, we did a photo shoot. It was a bunch of men in suits and everything. Shout out to all the photographers, all the men that came out. Right. It was it was great. Uh, y'all gonna see the pictures. We're gonna post them on the on the site and the, the page and everything. But Paco, y'all gotta go and look at my behind the scenes shit because Pac at any moment was all the way a mob boss at any <laughs> at any time. Even when even when he ain't yeah. know that that he was on camera, right? <laughs> like, bro, I got like three of them. It was on the Tony Soprano shit. Yo, yeah, yo. My favorite part <laughs> is when Jasmine she walked up to my jacket. She was like, it's 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 crooked. I don't know what's going on. She got to touching that jacket, and she said, "What is this? Whatever this is, you need to move it." And I pulled my pistol out and I put it in my other pocket. <laughs> <laughs> she was yes. like, "Yeah, yeah, bro, yes, look, straight he, Tony Soprano." Yeah. <laughs> look, we taking pictures, man. We're just doing individuals, but you know, you stand up uh, next to the wall or whatever. You yeah, know, yeah. You just look look fly. Out of nowhere, Paco like, can I take one with my gun? He, so he just, out of nowhere, we just all look like, he's strapped. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we we, we grew up on Joe Brown Road. We don't play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Murray great. County, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. But All right, so y'all going to get the updates on that as we, as we continue. But I really do want to get into uh, this week's events. I, I'm very curious on you uh, on your, your outlook, your opinions, your thoughts on on everything that we saw, there was a whole like some call it an attack on the Capitol. I think, yeah, like that. That was that's kind of extreme, but MSNBC, yeah, but like and uh, Fox said it was a it was a peaceful protest. So, but what do you guys think? <laughs> it was a peaceful protest. Uh, uh, man, I'm gonna let you off the bat if you want to get at it, Josh. I'm gonna say it was an attack on the Capitol. Yeah, and it was violence in in storming the building as it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen things I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. In the Civil War, the Confederate flag was nowhere near Washington, D.C. True. 70 miles in Tium was the closest the battle to uh, D.C. Mm-hmm. There was some guy just in, in the, in the uh, 
congressional building. In the rotunda, uh, if I remember right. Yeah. Yes. Waving the Confederate flag. Yes. Yeah, and I think I saw pictures of that. I mean, that, we're talking like, not like a little baby no, flag. Like no. that man had a six by eight, like yeah. whatever, like the full thing. In. Yes. Well, here's the kick. Doing some research. Apparently he was waving in one of the pictures was between an abolitionist and a pro-slavery congressional members. Like uh, wow. John C. Calhoun wow. was the pro-slavery photo. I bet you and, that guy didn't even know it. No. Oh. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, the, the funny part is I feel bad because I have it somewhere here where it was the other. Oh, Charles Sumner, an abolitionist. The wow. two pictures were right there and the guy was waving the Confederate flag. They have the picture of it. The irony alone is like endless. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of irony in this whole yes. case. Shit. I, I you ain't just whistling Dixie. And <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 build on that. Yeah. But yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, well, then the, the, also the whole idea is like Washington, D.C., you can make it call it a siege. And the, the popular thing right now is D.C. has not been sieged since 1812. Yep. Mm. Since the English did it, yeah, the, yep. the, the, mm. the British were the last ones to. Does this? Do you think this is in a siege category? These are people. What well, I'm not going to categorize them. It's the idea that they're wrong, so they can take it by force, or at least mm. promote it by force. I, I would agree with you there. And uh, is it a siege? Yes, theoretically. Yes. I mean, mm. you did storm the Capitol. You did gain unlawful entry into it to a degree that you shut down Congress, which yeah. was in session, yeah. and forced them to be evacuated. And you yeah. held the Capitol for like eight hours or so. Smash yeah. some windows and shit. Sma well, yeah, but, uh, you know, like, I mean, there's back and forth there, but that's the definition of a siege. It's a shitty siege. You only <laughs> made it eight hours. Like, I mean, damn, dude. Like, you know, back in the day, when we're talking the history of sieges, you know, they used to last four months at a time. Yes, the Alamo was, was a while, man. Like, <laughs> Well, and again, the Alamo... Uh, right, the was, uh, general idea of a siege is you're outside of the walls of something trying, trying to, to get, get in, in. Yeah. <laughs> but it, usually you're lasting outside of the walls for a long time. They, they just in. walked right in. That's, right. Much. Uh, that's what got me. Not to cut you off, Josh, I'm sorry. but that's the part that when you talk about uh, seeing things that you never thought you would see, they just walked in. Like I, I remember like just seeing like clips at first. I'm like, oh, they're you know having a little tussle. But I, then when you see what it grew to. I had to remember, I was like, wait, 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 wait. I saw a video clearly of them, you know, at, pushing up against the police line. I saw two lines of police officers, which is a barricade. So then the fact that they just walked in, I was like, what happened? I was like, how did you get through the, the cops? You know what I mean? How did you make it through two lines of police? It, like, I've been trying to figure that out my whole life, how to make it through police. Right. Like, how did you walk in? Like, <laughs> how did you get to the stop? <laughs> there's also, there's the other part, which the National Guard did uh, yeah, so. uh, where Maryland, I think Maryland's governor was handcuffed, not actually handcuffed, but he could not send in the National Guard until he got word from Pence. And was it the secretary? It was Pence? it was it was Pence who uh, who ordered it. Um, but but the main thing is, is that before that, yeah. the day before, several different states, Virginia, Maryland, yeah. their National Guards and the FBI all offered their assistance with crowd control and yes. the, the Capitol Police chief said now nah, we got it yeah. and uh, uh <laughs> he, i mean we're laughing now but hell even before that i mean looking at the size of the numbers yeah. of people saying they're going of people who are on parlor people who are on facebook people who are on twitter all saying fuck this we're going we're overturning it it's like okay. we're talking over a million people saying they were yes. going to be there now were there a million people there yeah. no but but you still had over a million people but, saying they'd be there, not checking in on Facebook, like say the uh, the Area 51 thing, yes. for example. It wasn't like we all just clicked, ah, I'm going, you know, like just because it was funny. We had people actually, yes. over a million people confirming or saying in comments and posts, I'm going to be there, we're drawing yeah. blood. And the crazy part about it was you would think that the FBI would have flagged the threat, the true idea of the ones they would consider legitimate threats. How do you do that when there's over a million people doing it? True. But 
I would also think that you could look at it like past actions. Like some of these guys aren't exactly, they've gone to these events before. They're known. <laughs> well, it, you know, yeah, I know you're, I know you're getting that there, like my boy Angeli or whatever, and yeah. his uh, and face <laughs> paint and his uh, his his horns and all that. The guy who would storm, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody yeah, like, knows what I'm talking about, right? Like Angeli with the, the with the. He looks like he's a member of the Flintstones little group that yeah. uh, Fred yeah. was part of. The sure, Buffalo but group. I mean, like. Uh, so he's one in a million though yeah. that says he's going to be there. That's what I'm asking is how do you balance freedom yes. and personal liberty with the mm. idea of let's preemptive strike them somehow? But mm. I don't say preemptive strike. I, I, that's not what I meant if I sounded that. Sure. I mean, you should at least had enough for a defensive, at least be prepared for the worst. But they tried and there are avenues that you have to go down. And yes. again, the FBI... And several states' National Guards said, hey, yeah. we'll hard to the Capitol Police and said, yo, we will help you. Like, and he said, we no. want to send people, and the Capitol Police said, no, we got it. But you look at the summer when they pretty much locked down. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and I agree with you. I'm sorry, continue. But, oh, no, I, no, that's just what I was going to say is during the when they locked down the, uh, you know, the White House and stuff like that where they had the National Guard barriers and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you would think... If you have a lot of people saying this, you would at least treat it the same. And the whole idea is like, well, we're going to have a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. And even later it was said, I think the D.C. police were talking about how they were understaffed because of COVID and other stuff like that. But I think that might, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say it's an excuse, but it's convenient after the fact. Well, it was until obviously it caught up with them yeah. and the chief of the Capitol Police yeah. is resigning now. Right. Yeah, oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's out. He he already sat down and said, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Republicans and Democrats both, when the senators and congressmen are in danger, they can come together for that. <laughs> Speaking of, I got to talk about my girl, uh, Marsha Blackburn. Marsha, <laughs> shout out to you, Senator Blackburn. <laughs> you know I don't like you. We've talked. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> however... I love the look on your face when the Senate reconvened because I swear to God, I have not seen a woman that pissed off in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. And I was wondering, I was like, man, what's she so mad about? Because right. she was going to be one of the objectors. Like, she was like, oh, I'm objecting on behalf of Donald Trump, blah, blah, yeah. blah, all that bullshit. And I was like, man, what's she look so pissed about? Then I went and looked through Twitter and I saw her saying, Something along the lines of, like, after today's events, I will be voting to certify Joe Biden as uh, president. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's what you mad about. Oh, you yeah. didn't like, you didn't like feeling scared. Yeah. You know, were, you, were you afraid, Marsha? <laughs> were you afraid? To Had to be. Were your supporters putting you in fear? Oh, yes. Did stop oh, yeah. the other six, though. No, oh, well, actually, it did. It did. Uh, who who else? Uh, Ted Cruz. Uh, I, oh, who so else we got? We got Josh Ho Holly. Well, yeah, well, he's Holly's the, fucked. Yeah. yeah, he was the first to sign on. Tommy Tupperville. Uh, oh, the new Alabama, guy yep, coming in. From yep. Alabama football mm -hmm. coach. Uh, Roger Marshall, Kansas. John Kennedy of Louisiana. Might I add, I have strong dislike for John Kennedy. Uh, he is one of those good old. Did backs. he? Did he still object? Even though yeah, he was afterward, still one of the six. The, there were six that did yes, it. Yes, and the last one is Sidney Hyde Smith of Mississippi. Ugh. So, and Ted Cruz was in there, oh too, yeah, of course. Of course, Ted. Ted, course, Ted, Ted loves the there. taste of shoe leather. I mean, oh, he yes. bootlicks like it's his job. The funniest part about Ted, and I got to, is yeah. it just a quick aside. Donald Trump insulted his wife so badly. Yes. Like, Yes. To a dog level. Mm -hmm. Like he, uh, it yeah. was, it hurt me hearing it. Man. Insulted his wife face to face in a debate. <laughs> <Yes>. Like, <laughs> called his wife like fat and old and ugly and like a dog and like yeah. talking about, let me put some wife in your mama's bowl or let me put some water in, you, in your wife's bowl. You know, oh, like, like, I mean, bad dogged his <laughs> wife. And here's Ted Cruz now. Licking his boots. Yeah. Oh, wow. And this man comes out of Texas. 
And we supposed to fear Texas. Mm. Texas ain't shit, and I'm saying it right here. Ooh, <laughs> that's your senator. That's, <laughs> that's your that's your senator, Texas. Yeah. Sit down. Like you senator? weak. You weak as fuck. No one would ever talk about my wife like that. Then you know, you ever. know, you know that night she's like, oh, you know, you ain't getting your dick sucked tonight. You know, no, what I'm, yo, I'm just <laughs> saying I would have stormed across that stage and whooped that fat orange ass. Yes. Yeah. Like that man ain't had Cross. a big system. Ooh, big. nope. You can you could take my law license. You could take my entire career away. I don't give a damn. You're not gonna talk about my wife like that. Oh, yeah. And we on national TV, man. I don't oh, care if you said that shit in private. But I mean, <laughs> you on national TV, you know yep. this gonna be on YouTube. And now he's licking this man's boots. Oh, like, I got the whoop He's your the ass. one that volunteered to uh, actually oh, speak. About yeah, the to Texas represent law. him. Yeah, yeah, he was like, "Oh, I'll represent him." And I was hoping that God, you know the what? Supreme Court, picked it up because I wanted to watch Ted Cruz. Uh oh. These six people, they all want the the MAGA base. Their whole idea is by kissing his butt, those voters that are the Donald Trump supporters, I firmly believe they want that voting base. So I'm if sure. they tried mm. to run for president, they can win the Republican Party with the MAGA you, side. Yo, you got to be so stupid and so short-sighted to understand or to not understand yeah. that, what? that the American people, and no offense to the American people, I love y'all, y'all my people, but we don't pay attention for very long. Yeah, no, we the have words. the attention span of a goldfish. So <laughs> you know, and I know a lot of y'all are over here mad about Donald Trump, blah blah blah, thinking the election was stolen, whatever, whatever. But you're gonna forget about it by 2024. Yeah, I yeah. And let me, can yeah. I jump in for a second there, James? You sure. So the big thing for me about all of it is now the integrity of the news has gotten to the point where it's not about reporting correctly. It's about who reports first. And if you report first, even if it's incorrect as fuck, mm -hmm. that becomes law for like 24 hours, whatever you said. Oh, you're right. You know? And then another thing that people have got to stop doing, they've got to stop using the term censored when they're being fact-checked. You, you have to no, understand. Look, right. people... People, the reason they had to do this fact checking is because the wildfire of propaganda. Nope, they didn't want to pay their employees overtime to design a fact checking system. Yeah. No company didn't. They wanted to design virtual porn and shit. They didn't want to, you know what I mean? They wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, like, how many of these failing newspapers that Donald Trump loves to call failing? Yes. Whatever, whatever. Man, they don't have the resources for this shit. But no. Now they got to pay extra people to fact check? Yes. yes. No. I in the one case, though, the Washington Post has enough money to pretty much probably buy out the other newspaper. Well, of course, because yeah. you have uh, oh, Bezos, Bezos behind them. Yeah, <laughs> but Bezos, man. But, yeah. but yeah. even still, like, uh, that's the thing that just drives me nuts. You're right about that. I'm, I'm sorry. Continue. Right. For, oh, you're talking to oh. me or him? Oh. Okay. So, look, 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 look. So, for all the people out there that think you're being censored, think to yourself, maybe the shit I'm posting is that off the wall that they have an algorithm to take it out. They're not just censoring you. It's a wildfire. We're in the propaganda age. It's not labeled that right now. They but just spin. Yes. And yep. what's happening they is spin. you and you got to think if they let me and this guy get on here and talk every day and don't censor us, yeah. anybody can say anything. Yeah, Shit, yeah. they got I'm me in the up. back. <laughs> <laughs> they let me talk. <laughs> so, like <laughs> If you're, not, if you're not topping the three of us. Right. Then, yeah. This censorship is, they see a bigger picture and a bigger problem that's going on. And they're fact checkers. That's to pour water on this wild propaganda that everyone is being fed. Okay. You're being fed all this wild shit. Okay. So think about it. If you have to jump platforms and then they completely shut the platform down, Thank that's you. money they wasted you know, now they got to shut it down. Hold up. Josh has got something to say. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Josh. Point. Sorry. I know it. Well, the issue is it goes back the fact checking the lies and stuff like this. All it goes back to the fact in our early education, we're given mythology, right? Mm. Our own mythology. So mm. we're told how great our founding fathers are, all the greatness of what we are. Yeah, like uh, the chopping down the cherry tree yeah, and yeah, Abe right. Lincoln never told a lie. Right. Right. Yeah. right. So yes. what you end up having is some people, and we'll even go into. Eileen left my politics. Another one is like, uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot her name. Elizabeth Warren. 
the oh. holes telling everybody she's Native American. Yeah, that's cute. Instead of fact checking the fact, like she's like, well, my mother told me that we were. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but well, she's it's white not, as yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It, but it goes back to this: people don't fact check if they're told something, they accept it, mm-hmm. and then when people call them out, in the case, Elizabeth well, Warren, you're racist because you're saying I'm yeah, Native American. Yeah, they push American. back. They push back. Yeah, uh, the other people like, well, you're violating my First Amendment rights. It's like, well, mm. your First Amendment's protected to the point it violates somebody else's uh, first. Actually, we yeah, I could get into that. We yeah. don't. We don't got to talk about that yeah. one. <laughs> I, I will address that if anyone wants me to. But continue. But I would say, like, your rights go as far as it. I would think as far as it violates somebody else's rights, create or becomes dangerous. Okay, kind of. The First Amendment protects you as an individual yes. from being censored by the government. Mm. Ah. That's what it, that I mean. Yeah. That's the whole point. That the, yeah. the government cannot silence you. Mm. The government cannot arrest you for saying something the government doesn't like. Yeah. Mm. All of that good stuff. Now there are limits. Uh, again, the most prominent example, like you were saying, is uh, say yelling fire in a crowded theater. That's right. the. That's you the can't one. incite violence. You can't incite chaos. Chaos. Oh, yeah. You're not protected on that end. Now. I'll tell you that if you and I, Josh, were having a conversation and you're Donald Trump, I'm Ted Cruz, and you said some shit about my wife like that, your First Amendment right ends where my fist breaks yes. your jaw. <laughs> like, that's right. it. Well, that, yes. that was it. Now, I'll take my assault charge with a smile. You can <laughs> haul my ass well, to the sure. jail. But yes. I didn't violate your First Amendment rights. No. I punched you in the fucking <laughs> mouth because mm-hmm. you ran it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, you know, like, the, the, exactly. But the government cannot punch you yeah. in the mouth. So let me ask. Can you imagine? I'm just saying for humor purposes, if Donald Trump would have met his idol, Andrew Jackson, okay. he likes to throw shade. Andrew Jackson would have took him behind the place and shot him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I think, honestly, yes. Andrew Jackson probably wouldn't have shot him. Andrew Jackson would have taken him back there with a switch and whooped his bare ass like a child. At the, at but... the very first, like, well, was that some lip? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, you were talking? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sorry. Excuse but, me. Excuse me. But, uh, but no, but, so, so I guess the whole point here, though, is that the First Amendment has nothing to do with private actors. Yeah. And that includes Facebook, mm-hmm. which is yes. a private actor. Mm-hmm. That includes Twitter, private actor. Amazon, private actor. So what do y'all Probably think about that? The... What, what oh. has happened with Parler? where Parler was removed from Apple and Google's app stores. Mm -hmm. And then Amazon said, oh, hey, by the way, you can't use our servers to host your service either, which effectively just destroyed Parler. Yeah, yeah. Every business there, all three of them, have the right to do that. That's free market capitalism. Yes. If you you don't like it, go to a country that's communist. I'm sorry. We're in America. We're a capitalist country. Mm-hmm. I love capitalism. That's free market capitalism. So, what do y'all think about the response that Trump has gotten from like first they want to they want to impeach him, then Twitter suspended him, then Facebook did it. What have y'all What do y'all think about because I think what, I think if he was smart, did he? Did, if but he's is he really smart, he amendment? would re, if he were smart, he would have a conversation privately with Mike Pence about pardoning him, and then he would resign, and then he would have Pence pardon him. Nixon. And he would go on about his life and shut the fuck up. Wow. That's the smart move. The you Richard Nixon it. thing. It's been done before. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. You step down, Ford basically says, you're pardoned, yeah. go about your business. And then you shut the fuck up and no one cares about what you have to say. Yeah. That's what Donald Trump should do. Will Donald Trump do that? I highly doubt it. Donald Trump has never shown the ability to shut the fuck up in his entire life. (laughs) But especially not once he became the president and gave him power. But I mean, that's a whole other thing. And that will lead us back into a discussion. But after he's not president anymore, is he allowed back on these platforms? Is it only while he is? No, no, no. no. They didn't ban, they didn't ban his, his, uh, POTUS platform. Like for Twitter example, uh, at POTUS yeah. is the president's handle. Yeah. And so oh. he'll lose it once so he be, a citizen. And, it'll, and at over. POTUS will become Joe Biden's. Yeah. yeah. That one still exists. At real Donald Trump, his actual handle that he it's uses gone. to spit his bullshit, done. Done. Uh, Go look it up. It'll say uh, at name hidden. Damn. Yeah. Uh, so he's gone. gone for Everything's here. gone. Yeah. Oh, they said indefinitely. Yeah. And Facebook, Instagram. 
fucking Spotify banned him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know who? Who was the other one? The uh, what, what's the chick one? The Alex uh, Jones. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. What's a uh, what's that shit called? I wouldn't be surprised. To take Pinterest. <laughs> Pinterest banned him. Oh, the nice. man can't even post a mood board. <laughs> no, everybody, everybody's got him off of there. Would it be like, hilarious though if he tried to go on TikTok after? Each- yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think I think TikTok banned him already. Right. And, <laughs> yo, Chuck E. Cheese banned his ass. I'm not even playing, y'all. I'm not even playing. Look it up. Chuck E. Cheese banned him. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, and they put a statement out. It was like we're a place, where, like, we're a place where kids can have fun, but we don't fuck with this fat orange cocksucker. I, that was paraphrasing. That is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but either way, no, they, they Chuck E. Cheese banned him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want Ben not see your kid in his ball pit. <laughs> was, yeah, well, Ben is a little too over there. But man, I feel bad for Ben. Yeah. It's a whole real. other story. Yeah, man. Like, Forever, no Chuck E. Cheese. For real, you were like. Three days old, and your dad was raw dogging Stormy Daniels oh, while your mama trying to recover from having him. Oh, oh that's God. Rough. You know, like, that's just awful. But, yeah. That's, that's so part, awful. That's the part that has blown my mind mm-hmm. is the evangelicals just running behind this guy. It's like he is everything that appalls you. Like everything, like you accuse Democrats of, he's that and worse. I don't know, man. Joe oh, Biden's no, Catholic. Man. Yeah, there's a lot of evangelicals that hate Catholics just based oh, on yeah, the name. Sure. Yeah, but well, uh, you know, I mean, at least he's not a Catholic, right? Right. Well, that goes back in the traditional dislike of certain Protestant groups versus Catholics. So yeah, that's that's a, hating Catholics is almost as American as apple pie. Right. Yeah, it is. Uh, the Catholics were right there with the Jews and the blacks yeah. and everybody else yeah. as far as the KKK it's went. A, Catholics yeah. could get their crosses burned on their lawn too. too yeah. But yeah. Uh, that's not talked about enough. <laughs> the clan, the clan had a, a, you know, a whole vision board of hate. They were right, like, right. right. They were not just to one group. No, I, was going to say, I don't know. If, I don't know if we got to yeah, go that route. Uh, we need to focus on on the racial divide first. Yeah. So like, well, let's worry about what the clan was doing with racial shit before we start talking about the Catholics. Yeah. Uh, right. No offense, Catholics. I mean, I love y'all. That's where I grew up. But <laughs> but still, the fact that like like what, like you don't. Like I didn't know that uh, they didn't like the uh, the um, Jews at first, right? Oh, yeah. Like I didn't know that until I got older, and then when you find out, like, oh wow, okay, yeah. you, you ex- yeah. you're expansive on your right. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. oh, they're oh, you diversified. Oh, they've been hating the Jews. <laughs> yeah. Middle oh, Ages. <laughs> that Christianity's hatred of the Jews goes back to Middle Ages, where you well, could go, I mean, in mm-hmm. all fairness, and oh my God, please don't take me seriously when I just say this, but. The Jews did crucify Christ. And that's the reason they yeah. hated it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, it's... It was, guys, Christians, if you're really upset about that, please understand that that was part of the plan. That was, yeah. uh, that was, that was like the whole plan. That was, that's yeah. how Jesus you, died for our sins. You like you had to have him. Please don't blame the Jews for this. You like That's not their the fault. Process. It's part of the plan, right? Like, damn. Well, there's also that whole part that a lot of people forgot is Jew, Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, uh, ooh, don't say that. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, I mean, wait, that, wait, wait now. <laughs> wait, wait now. Oh, man. You don't want to say you Jesus is a Jew. Jesus was a, a black Jew. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Was he black? Or was he just I tell you some what. form of brown? Oh, it, black. Well, here's dark the black. black. He was dark. He, sure? he, he, look, he, he was dark. He was look, brown. Y'all gonna stop talking shit about white. Copper Top, okay? He sure as hell was, <laughs> I will, sure as hell was not white. I would no. make the comment that he would have looked closer to Osama bin Laden than the lead singer Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Versus well, a picture. Sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just saying. That's accurate, though. That's I mean, accurate. It's that bad, is. but. It is. That is Ooh, that smell. <laughs> I'm just saying from the just the historic approach of where he's from, yeah. he probably wasn't blue eyed. I'm I mean, just throwing that out no there. Shit. I mean, like, look, yeah, and not only that, but you have to understand, like, my man's right on this, and you were right on this B. Like, the dude, the dude was, you know, he's a son of God, but he was born to be man. Mm-hmm. Well, where the hell was he born, and when? He yeah. was born in the Middle East, oh, Palestine. He dude. would be a yeah. real strange-looking motherfucker. He'd be blonde-haired, <laughs> blue-eyed, walking yes. around. What yes. the whole thing no is? wonder everybody yeah. wanted to crucify him. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, who he, is that? Yeah, <laughs> who, who is this? Well, <laughs> even the Romans would stare at him. No, the, because yeah, the, yeah, the Romans are like... The Romans look like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I'm the dark, <laughs> dark hair. 
Big and, ass nose. <laughs> and, no, at no point in the Bible after the red words did somebody say, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> right? Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, somebody's over here like, I don't know if I want to eat them fishes and them bread like, who, What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is going on? I'm going to say by his look, it would not have been wine. It had been honey mead or something like <laughs> that. Right, right. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. It would have been fucking mead. Yeah. He would have been talking about Valhalla. Fuck yeah. heaven. Uh, but... But that goes back. Okay, I'm sorry. This is, this is getting too sacrilegious. We need to get back on point. Yeah, I we apologize do. to anyone who is offended. I already love this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but then we ain't talking shit about Jesus. I want everyone to know that no one is but talking not, shit about Jesus. It Look, goes y'all gotta back. lighten up if you if you even think about being offended. Okay, you made it through 2020. All right, shut right. the fuck down. Like, right. Good point. Good point. Calm the fuck down. Like 2021 starting off like a bang. I dude, mean, it, wow. I really I feel like this. dude watching watching what we watched with the Capitol. Like a lot of people were enraged, and all I could think about was the irony, the hypocrisy, and like all them foots going into all them mouths. Mm. You know what I mean? There what was, you mean? Uh, I want to hear about this. Just think about all the. It goes back to. All the Black Lives Matters riots and, mm-hmm. and, and protests, and you know everybody that opened their mouth talking about how we were savages and all this shit. Fuck them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, yeah. And, and at least we we're fighting for our lives instead of a decision that was voted upon by the people. Okay. You, know? you understand though that like half of the argument here right now, coming from the Trump supporters, is well, y'all ain't say shit when it was BLM doing it. But now you're upset. They you don't have the right shit. to complain. They, had, they said a lot of shit during the summer last year. Well, no, yeah, no, still, no, they're, talking, they're, talking, the they're, they're have... talking to liberals and people, though. They're saying, like, oh. well, you, you call that a mostly peaceful protest when they're burning whole cities down, whatever, whatever. Mm. But now you're upset. But now you have to under, you have a problem. You have to understand. You have to understand this, though, okay? The issue we were discussing, the issue we were pushing for was something that had been going on for hundreds of fucking years. Systematic oppression, things like that, going on for a hundred years. This is an election with a motherfucker that don't even know your name. You know what I mean? This is a motherfucker that don't even... If you were to die tomorrow, he's not even sending a a card. He's not... Who are they? One of the serious issues. Who is that? I don't know them. Well, why are you wasting my time? I got huge shit to do. But, no, but there's, a, there, there's also the issue that the president of the United States, with this group of people that stormed, he said he would be with them, mm-hmm. and that gives people free reign when they think their leader is going to be on the front lines with them. Mm-hmm. Of course, oh. he's nowhere to be. Probably in a bunker or something like that. Uh, yeah. and, and, uh, and if you want to be too, I could start discussing the actual legal end of that, mm-hmm. but. I'm I don't want to get too about deep. that. Like, I don't want to get too deep on it. But, but, but I will tell what you was talking about with the First Amendment is he is he covered by that or like he didn't? No, because he is. Well, at least in my opinion, based my analysis, what I've seen. Okay. You're not allowed to incite panic, violence, riots, anything like that. The First Amendment ends right there. Now you can't prosecute the President of the United States for crimes he commits while he's in office. Right. While he's in office now can you prosecute him once he leaves office yes um as far as this goes and i see a lot of liberals a lot of leftists people like that calling him traitor this is treason blah 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 no it's not treason involves a foreign enemy Mm -hmm. you have to give aid and comfort to a foreign enemy Mm -hmm. this ain't treason this is sedition. Yeah. Oh. Sedition is trying to disrupt an act of Congress or an act of the government or anything of that nature yeah. to try to stop the democratic process from happening. Uh, well, then this is definitely sedition. So <laughs> there is a crime for this specifically, though, that no one is really talking about, but it's called seditious conspiracy. And I happen to pull that up on my phone, so to give it, me two it, seconds. To is this uh, uh, all right? So while you, while you pull that up, now the the thing that I'm I'm curious about is if he was saying I'm I'm with you and everything, could he? He didn't. Could he spend that though? Like we were talking about, like the propaganda. Could he spend that on just like a 
I was just saying I was with them, you know, like the... No, 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 no. His words were something along the lines of a command to march on the Capitol. Yeah. I'm going to march with yes. you to the Capitol. Yes. Oh. And then he did. Yeah, he but, really Okay, up. but so seditious conspiracy is part of 18 U.S.C. section 2384, and it reads, if two or more persons in any state or territory or in any place subject to the jurisdiction of the United States, conspire to overthrow, put down, or to destroy by force the government of the United States, or to levy war against them, or to oppose by force the authority thereof, mm. or by force to prevent, hinder, or delay the execution of any law of the United States, mm. or by force to seize, take, or possess any property of the United States, contrary to the authority thereof, they shall be fined or imprisoned not more than 20 years or Ooh. both. Or, 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 that wow. is a wow. federal felony. Wow. And because it falls under conspiracy, anyone who's involved in it or encourages it. You can fall right into it. This kind of like a RICO act type shit. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. Conspiracy is always... I mean, Rico like was a solidification of conspiracy in the first place, but mm. there are a shitload of conspiracy statutes for federal crimes. Man. The amusing part about this is the act of the six senators and 140 members of Congress, they're saying that some of the Democratic Party has made the argument that they're as guilty as Donald Trump in promoting As this they act. are. Yeah. In my opinion. And again... So how do you You're looking that, at though? somebody who who is not a federal prosecutor. Yeah. I have no power to prosecute people. But in my reading of the law, my understanding of the law, my practice of the law, that seditious conspiracy. Yeah. So how so how do you handle that? Are we Congress about can re Congress, the, I think, you, can remove them. Oh, we, Congress can, can remove, remove them, them, but senators are not immune from prosecution no, we we prosecute senators all the time oh yeah all shit the happens <laughs> all the time like wow. they are in my opinion at least with probable cause guilty of seditious conspiracy you can indict them for it yes i think that they should be indicted and they should be held to trial and we will see what a jury of 12 decides well, it's talking crazy, about the, crime thing, the big thing was actually uh, i mean you look at any person yeah who has to face a trial for any reason in the United States. Think about anybody you've ever known that's gone to trial. And almost all of us know somebody who's gone to trial. Yes. And had a jury trial. Shout out to all my niggas. I hope y'all come back. Right. So. <laughs> uh, except for the ones that did it and y'all should stay in prison. <laughs> but anyway. I can't stand them. <laughs> so, so anyway, though. Yeah. What I'm trying to get at is that in this situation, you got six... <laughs> Senators yes, that sir. Josh read off to us that helped incite all of this. This is crazy. Being exact, Josh Howley, the fist in the air. Oh, yeah. When he walked by the, the people oh, that was yeah. Him. And you have the President of the United States who literally said, stop the steal. Yes. I mean, he's the one who used the hashtag. He started yeah. the hashtag, stop the steal. What does that mean? Stop, stop it. Stop. How do you stop it? They stopped it. Mm -hmm. He told them. March on the Capitol. I'll be there with you. And there was the bad part about it. That's the definition <laughs> of inciting insurrection yes. and Golly. sedition. He's really screwed when he gets out of this. And the funny Shit, part he is, was screwed before this. But, I mean, now is the time, if I'm Donald Trump, this is what I said earlier, if I'm Donald Trump, now is the time that I resign. After I talk to Mike yeah. Pence and I'm like, yo, please pardon me. I would but, get my pardon, and then I would shut the fuck up, and I'd go to Mar-a-Lago, and you wouldn't hear shit out of me this ever is, again, because I don't want to go to prison for the rest of my life. I'm wondering how Mike Pence feels about this for one reason. There has been talk about there were gallows outside of the state building. There oh, were, yes. They were intended for Pence. Oh, yeah. There no were. Way. Those, oh, yes. Those, those were for him? Yes. yes. Oh, oh no. Uh, parlor <laughs> trending things. We're talking about what, fucking L. Linwood said... Kill them all. Start with Pence. Oh, wow. That's one of Trump's attorneys. Yes. That's the guy. Where is this attitude coming from? Why, why Pence? Hey, I'm yeah, lost. and James, let me ask you this. All right, mm. Real quick, real quick, real quick. 
as a Republican, now y'all, James is Republican. We're not yeah, here. Well, just, yeah, yep. As a Republican, like with other Republicans, like how, like how f- into the Kool Aid? How did how did all these people feed into the Kool Aid? Like just like what? I need to know. I, I need to QAnon, know. I think the QAnon did a well, lot. Well, uh, QAnon did a little bit, but I got to tell you, what really just ruined it was social media. I mean, the ability for anyone to speak up and say whatever the hell they wanted, mm-hmm. shit went viral. You would mm-hmm. say something that your friend would say, oh, man, that sounds like truth. And then they'd start sharing it. Mm-hmm. And then it would go viral, mm-hmm. and people would be believing this dumb shit. And then it would end up on Sean Hannity's desk or something. And Sean Hannity then would be on Fox News yes. claiming it is truth. Yep. And so, selling it that way. So, and, is it just like an abundance of... See, because this is my thing. Like, nobody felt like nobody believed any credible news sources. Like, it would be articles. People like, you know, Patriots of America. Yeah, you know, or Gateway s- Pundit. Or, yes, or, and all these... Or the Patriot Treehouse or right, Conservative but, Treehouse. Like, like none of these yeah. credible news sites. They just... And people just run with it. Like, well, I mean, it still happens to this day, trust me. I know it very intelligent because people. Because there's such a big distrust for them. I mean, let's not, you know what I mean? Let's I, not. I, I know, I know run, dudes like, who are smart that make five, six, seven times what I make per year. Mm-hmm. Who are obsessed with this shit. That message me privately. Because Their little just, links and be like, oh, hey, look what I just found. And I'm like, you're an idiot. Yes. <laughs> like... Holy shit, dude. Like, you understand, and they don't, but libel laws are real. And yeah. when you are the New York Times, when you're CNN, when you're MSNBC, well, I guess everybody gives kind of MSNBC a bit of a pass because they're like, you know, the mentally deficient child that doesn't finish their broccoli or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, is that... Uh, you know, when you're one of these agencies, you can be sued yeah. mm-hmm. for yes. saying something that's false knowingly mm-hmm. with the intent to damage someone. And mm-hmm. it's easy to prove damages against one thing, you know, like a massively syndicated national uh, news organization. And if they do, they're going to make money off of you and they'll bankrupt you. Ask Gawker. Gawker's a great example of yeah. uh, well, what happens when libel goes wrong. Yes. Yeah. The big actually case here recently has been the kid in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, Sandman. Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. The, he got the $200 million lawsuit against CNN. Yep. And he took him to task. He took him. The, 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 yeah. the, the kid with yeah, the, the MAGA one. hat that was smirking or whatever when they said he was being disrespectful to the Native so American dude. Yeah. 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 He because he much? won. He, oh, he's beat. We like, don't know how much he got. No, but he did settle with CNN and I think Wapo. Yeah, he well he settled with like I think three out of the four lawsuits. Yeah, and he made bank, 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 bank. Shout yeah. out to that kid. I don't Yo, care about that. And, and you know what the Shout funniest part you, is? Man. Funniest part is is his attorney that did it for him, L. Lynn Wood. Yeah, for real. Yeah, now, the, the, the idiot, the guy, the guy who's talking about lizard people and shit. So L. Much, Lynn Wood. What the well, fuck? The, you also have the other side that's wow. happened, such as. Uh, the lawsuits against Fox News. Mm-hmm. And Fox News has made the argument that they, all their late night is not news, it's entertainment. Yeah. No, that's you true. cannot take Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, yeah. or uh, what's it, Laura Ingram. Yeah, the, These are not the, news was, sources. I think, it was based on a, I think it was based on a Tucker Carlson yeah. uh, skit, or, or <laughs> not boys, I say skit, but, but you know, yeah. like a Tucker, or Tucker Carlson bit. But yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about where he said... Um, where their argu- their lawyers for Fox News yeah. argued, no one in their right mind thinks this is true. This is opinion. Yes. Like wow. they basically said, like no smart person or reasonable human <laughs> being is would think that what they say is believable. Yeah. So as they get seven o'clock, it's fiction. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> seven o'clock, <is> fiction. <laughs> That's the defense, right? Oh, and shit. they're right, and like yeah. that's actually a good defense. And I completely, I, you know, honestly, when I read their when they read their brief yeah. about that, because like everyone was freaking out about it, and I was like, no, nah, let me read this. Yeah. I read it, and I'm like, no, nah, that's pretty solid. I mean, <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. in their right mind really does think well, that that's true. To the it, it is an right opinion mind. piece. They're all opinion, you know, yeah. editors or whatever. But 
Well, you also have the Alex Jones stuff where he got sued and sued and sued from like Sandy Hook. Oh, and other he, well, people. yeah, for the Sandy Hook yeah. thing. Yeah. It's claiming it was false. They it pretty never much, happened. They pretty much hit Trump with the Alex Jones shit. Just he, they deplatformed him pretty much. Well, it, they both been deplatformed, but Alex Jones got deplatformed a long time before Trump yeah. did. Yeah, but I'm I just mean, saying, Twitter's like, over hey, here like, oh, we're 1,500 days in the presidency. Look, guys, we saved the world. We right. stopped him from talking. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay well, yeah, the whole yeah. idea, I can almost see, in all honesty, what they were thinking. That the president of the United States should have a voice. Yep, I agree. Unfortunately. Until he, until he actually incited sedition. Yes. Yes. At that point. Yeah, you got to take his mic away from him. Yeah, it's like, all right. Like, yeah. y'all, I mean, I'm talking right now, but if I start inciting sedition, someone yeah. take the microphone away. Granddad had too much punch. I, yeah, to right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just ignore Granddad. He talking, you know, like, he does Turn that. Turn the mic off. Turn the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> someone wheel his ass in the back for yeah. the nap. Right. But it's almost just personal belief. It, it differs from the thing. I'm under the belief that the President of the United States should communicate with the people in... Uh, this is where the media should be more important. Like, I think the Twitter thing is a dangerous thing because it allows them to directly attack Do whatever what, they want. Yeah, and he used his own personal handle, not the POTUS handle. Yeah, right. most of it. Yeah. So I mean, it, this also goes on the media actually doing what it was intended to do, and that is, it's not entertainment; it should be education, or it should be information. Yeah, not, and, not well, information. and hang on though, but when you talk about this, because I agree with you. I agree with you entirely. Donald Trump stopped that. Yes. I mean, uh, the media did try to do that. And then he would yell at them at their fake news. And then he would bark about it on Twitter. And it, then he would spin the bullshit. But, I yes. mean, people would ask him questions. He would have yes. press conferences. When was the last time that Donald Trump had a press conference? Oh, that's, or, yeah. And months his, ago. His months. press secretaries are god-awful. Just like Kelly McAnally. And well, like all of these little that represent him, I have a lot of respect professionally for uh, what's her name, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yeah, I will give Sarah Huckabee Sanders the A plus stamp of approval because, girl, you did your job admirably. <laughs> I mean, you spun the living shit out of some facts, <laughs> and you did it in a way where you didn't lie. Yeah. You just spun shit. Yeah. You did a great job yeah. until you absolutely couldn't anymore, and you quit. Yeah, you like, and I mean, I, I feel you. Like I can't like, keep this going. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I tell you, like I've had two ulcers since I took this job. Yeah, you're, right? you're and, and, and you know, as an attorney, like that, that shit applies for other people too. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I've had clients where, like, man, I will do my best. I'm not gonna lie for you. Right. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm honor bound, oath bound, not to lie. Well, I'll spin it as best I can. But you're not giving me much to work but with here, exactly. baby. Exactly. <laughs> and if you really want to just derail it, I'm out. Like, I, I can't keep doing it. Like, right. sorry, man. I'm, I'm not, not going down with this. Like, I'm not going down on this behind, Titanic. Behind the scenes, it's like the movie Liar, Liar. When yeah. he can't tell a lie anymore, he answers for us. Like, stop breaking the law, asshole. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what it comes down to. That was so great. The legal advice. I love it. Liar Liar, but <laughs> just as a side note, like, I got a lot of, like, real, you yeah, know, lawyer yeah. movies that I love. Like, my cousin Vinny and, and oh, shit. come on, and man. Morgan, to Kill a Mockingbird. Shit yes. like that. Like, those are yeah. Lincoln the time lawyer? to kill. Lincoln, Lincoln lawyer? lawyer? Like, Lincoln all lawyer. of these. Hell good, yeah. well, Lincoln Lawyer. I, like <laughs> I mean, I liked that movie, but uh, please don't act like Matthew McConaughey if you're actually a lawyer like that. Right. You, don't yeah. do that. You yeah. transgress in some shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. my point is, though, that uh, be, but I loved Liar Liar. For yeah. That, because it see. really went from, you know, yeah. the typical sleazy ass lawyer to doing your best. Yes, I mean. to spin some shit without lying. And he, like, he did it. He still did it. He like, still won the case. I would like to be see the moment, like like pop culture where lo- lawyers became like idolized to the point of sleazy. Because if you think about it, when I was a kid, you had Madlock and you had Perry Mason. Oh, yeah. And the, those are the heroes. Like, and then you start seeing stuff. It's like, well, that guy's sleazy. Speaking of Perry Mason, anybody watch that new uh, HBO Perry Mason? Because that I'm shit's not. fire. What? Is they, it? They, what, yes. they remade it? Well, if you want They remade it? Huh? It's a remake? Oh, yeah. What? They got oh. a whole season that just came out. That shit's awesome. I loved it. I'm looking at shit as soon as I get home. Look, yeah. I wasn't going to say anything. Huge Matlock and Perry Mason fan. Yeah. Also, please, please don't act 
if you watch that show, please, if you're a lawyer, don't act like that Perry Mason either. But, uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, but it's still really compelling. Yeah, it's Man. good stuff. But then you also have like the lawyers from like uh, Law and Order became sort of a thing where. Well, yeah, but the lawyers in Law and Order, like some of them, got disbarred yeah. shit on television yeah. for Brady violations and whatnot. Like mm. they be fucking around trying to yeah. put black people away for no reason, <laughs> and, and, and they get, get caught up. doing it, and that's part of the storyline. Yeah. Like, I All wish right. that happened in real life, but anyway. All right, his black hat question. Okay. Shout out to Lincoln County. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> um, what precedent does this set? Like, that's my biggest thing. I was talking to Paco about it the day it was happening. I'm thinking about the people that are emboldened by seeing it because it already happened in Michigan last year. And they, they were going to fucking kidnap the governor. And oh, now, yeah. you know, they, they stone, they've, they've stormed the Capitol. What about that one guy that lives in Kansas, Wyoming, whatever? Rhode Island. If you look at it, like, probably Montana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mon- uh, probably uh, Montana. Oh, talking about the, uh, the more or less the militia types that are looking at overthrowing the actual Sure, but dude, the, the Michigan they, one. Uh, but I'm saying, I mean, like, when I'm you not, see I'm it. I'm not going to get into the Michigan one because. If you're that person, like, in Montana, in and you, opinion, but and you all you got story. is your, you know, your your blog site, you know, the well, something, something treehouse, and then you're looking on TV, it's like, oh, they stole the Capitol guns. That's, they stole that Capitol guns. I really fucking like well, hang guys. on, wait, 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 hang on. Wait a minute. No one stormed the Capitol with guns on January 6th. What, the, yeah. the most we know about is some dumb fuck who had a taser in his pants and tried to steal a picture of Tip O'Neill and then taste himself in his balls to death by Oh, accident. yeah, he did die. Yes, yeah. he did. Yes. He tased he himself died. in his balls to death. Yes. Yeah. And that right there is, is beautiful. <laughs> that is and my, crazy. That is, well, that is just crazy. My, perfect. Wow, storm the, storm the capital, you tased your balls. My fear is so much. Fuck. It's wow. not a fear. It, it's more of a concern wow. than a fear because fear, like, I, know. I don't allow. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, but it, yeah. terrorism. If you if you become afraid, then actually the terrorist tactic. No, one, no one's afraid. Yeah, but I ain't the, scared of these people. No. I don't my my concern will be though. There are militias who have been practicing like in certain states that have been waiting for the one oh, call. Yes. And I'm almost afraid they will embolden <laughs> some of these little patriot groups. To that's what I'm thinking. Well, that's my, well that's it won't be D.C. Thing. I'm thinking, like, in some cases, no, anyway. it'll be a Montana or something. Sure. They'll storm their capital. But they could. And not only that, it is important to keep in mind that a lot of these militia groups are veterans. Yes. Like, they're comprised of people who are way more adept at fighting in any kind of way than your little sissy fucking Antifa people are. Right. You little yeah. like pasty, nerdy leftist guys that are like, oh my God, you know, like, oh, I'm going to storm. I'm going to throw some bricks and wear a mask. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't shit compared to the militias right. that want to overrun you. Those men have killed people. Those yes. men have been shot at. Yes. Those men have fought horrible wars in this in giant place. sandbox in the Middle East. You aren't shit compared to them. So if you want to wage a war against the militia, little Antifa boys and girls and and whatever you identify as, sit down. Sit down and stop. Stop. I saw that stop in- it. So is it true that Antifa was like a part of that also? I just no, no, no. no. That's the a FBI, talking point. The FBI has come out already declared that ain't and true. Not only that, but the FBI had people there that were identified white supremacist leaders. There's like five white supremacist yeah. leaders. Oh yeah, no. On the scene. No. Nah, yeah. I mean, uh, anybody who believes anyone yeah. who wants to use the excuse of uh the people who attacked the Capitol on January 6th were leftists in any kind of way. That's pathetic and you should be ashamed of yourself since most of you who would make that excuse sat here and advocated for it. All right. All the way up until the time of. Yeah. Like, I it, During and fought for it after. Yeah. It, and, now, <laughs> and now it's just like, oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Antifa did it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, shut up, man. Like, I'm sorry your insurrection didn't go anywhere. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? What, what, what did you really plan? think that you were going to overthrow the government? By, by just going in an empty building. That's, that's the part that got me when I was like, when they ran in and they saw it was empty, I would have been like, all right, well, there's nothing we can do here. Yeah. My favorite comparison about all this, though, and I love to go on record saying this, everyone, it seems, on that, like the Donald Trump side, talks about how these people are patriots 
revolutionaries mm -hmm. and they want to identify with the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. I have bad news for you, your bootlickers. <laughs> well, when you stand up for and commit violence in the name of the king that you're trying to keep in power, you're a red coat. You go you're him. not a revolutionary. You're a fucking red coat. You go with him. Tory. <laughs> so sit down. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 just, yes, you I feel like you're the, not a revolutionary. You were supporting the king. Yes. But the that makes you a Tory. The attitude that like because I understand that the man still got seventy million votes, you know what I mean? So it's like Yeah. It's seventy four like, million, I think. Yes, but so against eighty six million. So what what I'm thinking is, and, and it goes back to like people being emboldened, is there's a, clearly a divide in the country. But if we have that that mentality of like, all right, those guys over there are the ones that they'll run up on your capital and everything, and then they're the red coats. Like, I think I just think that it'll embolden people. They'll feel so separated that it, it'll, you know, it'll make somebody that's on the right be like, well. If I'm so bad, then I'm just gonna be bad. Fuck. No, I understand. Right, you know I mean? It's a and shame. Then, yeah, and then like people on the left is like, all right, I don't want to hear anything those fuckers got to say because I just saw what they did. Uh, and you know? it, it, and that, and that is the worst case scenario well, to me because getting we're the here new president already. in, yes, like yeah. we're right around the corner from inauguration, another new four year term type shit, and, and we're, you know, what I mean, it, I don't think it'll happen on the twentieth because I'm a firm believer when the election happens on the twentieth. There will be National Guard or something. I like sure that. as fuck hope so. I hope so. I, I hope they don't blow that. Now, please don't let Joe Biden get killed and put Kamala Harris in. Like, that's not a good look. Yo. I'm sorry. I've been on this show before. We've done talked right about yes. Kamala Harris. Yo, I don't want to get a, involved. Uh, as a black dude, about it I'm saying, as a black man, yeah. I'm saying I do not want her as, as my president. Well, Me, be. Branded. No. Please, I God. Not, I'm a, it's an awkward situation being on the left and you look at this and you're like so we chose the first person that was knocked out of our primary as the vice president you know what i mean <laughs> you know what uh, i mean that, that ain't my problem with her but, but still like, that's, the, that's the reason she was knocked out point. is my problem with but that's still a good ass <laughs> point though when like, tulsi <laughs> gabbard jumped up and fucking dunked on her in her face i mean that's my problem with well her. left was stuck what she has done she at the yeah. podium like what i just thought uh, well, you gotta be careful. Oh, Remember, she did listen to Snoop Dogg like five years before he actually came. Oh, uh, she the said world. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, she that means that if you go ahead and look back when that album was dropped, she was smoking pot while she was putting black men yeah. in prison for their lives. Yes, yes. for pot yes. possession. Yes, but, yes. You know, yes. Fuck Kamala Harris. <laughs> I still say that. Not that. I don't like her, man. Man, I had it, I had high. Look, I don't I, I don't wish any violence on her or anything, no. but I'ma just tell you my opinion of her. Like fuck Kamala. All it took was a little bit of research, man. Thing, but being on the left and then that was the choice is like, uh, did you not at all like, try when we bent the shit? Try when the progressives bent the knee to Joe Biden. Because the Bernie supporters and stuff like that. Well, you I give mean, us Kamala Harris. You should have bent the knee to Joe Biden because Joe Biden was your easy pick. You just have to beat Donald Trump. That's the whole Oh, that's point. it. That was the whole point. And they did. And yeah. that's how they did it. But I still cannot believe Joe Biden. Well, actually, I can't believe Joe Biden picked a racist asshole. <laughs> you know, right? yeah. They just had to pick. A, well, you had to pick a person of color, so that was it. Like, did you not have realized that Julian Castro was an option? Well, hold on. You could have grabbed him, but his name is Castro, and it wouldn't have got you Florida. Uh, uh, Biden Castro yeah. wouldn't be on the back of the bumper sticker. Let me slide in. Here. It did help. <laughs> let me slide in here, y'all. The connection between Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is privatized prisons and making money off of prison. That's that's, that's their. That's their connection. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I know. I'm just yeah. saying, though, that's it didn't even have to be, you know, yes, it's a plus she's black, but we were we were getting she's progressive not, to the. Black. I she's know. I know. Have but any I ain't. Mm. Yeah. And, so, you know, I, I, I really want that stated, though, because right. this, like, this would be the second time, and I really don't care what anyone thinks. This would be the second time that we have been attributed to, to just because they're a person of color. We know black is someone who is in America, a descendant of the slave trade, and that's the reason why you're here. Right. Like we, the two people that we have in the White House that we got to claim as black, are not. 
Right. They're just right. not. Just from what you are called as black, the reason why people get hung from trees right. is not attributed to either of these people. Kamala Harris was not black when she uh, goddamn became um, uh, yeah, attorney they, general. Well, right. Sucked her way to attorney exactly. general. Exactly. Right. Like she was not. They that in the headlines was the first Indian American. Right. Like, like so, I just want that stated clearly. Like stop just. You right. telling us like this is your champion right here. No, no. bitch, I read. You know, no, right. you know what? <laughs> so you know what? Be that. that's yeah. honestly profound as shit. Like, I really respect what you're saying there. Like that yeah. honestly is a great point. Because no, just, because you know, I mean, I'm not trying to discount anybody who's a person of color, but to say you're black, I mean, are you black? Are you, or, for real? Or, or or do you have black heritage? Exactly, and it, and that is important because when you first time around, and yeah, Obama, all right, everybody liked him, cool. Chicago became the murder capital while he was in office, and that's his like second home. Like when you really look at, all right, if we're gonna just be like, oh, Kamala Harris is great, all right. So why she was Attorney General? Where was she born? Where did she say she's from? Oakland. Okay, how did Oakland do? Oh, Oakland. <laughs> Oakland's yeah, been Oakland's a crap been hole. A picture of American like, suburbia. You know, what I'm saying? do you not know? Like so picket it, fences, white picket fences. If you fences. look at Oakland's history, the things that you can attribute, the two major things that have come out of Oakland, not sports, oh. are the Black Panthers and the Hell's Angels. Oh wow! Uh, Shout out those to are the middle. two. That that's what, what Oakland country? has given to the United States. I like the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever is since I start ever since I start working I more mean, with I uh, honestly support both of them over the Raiders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, they're in Las playing, Vegas now. Great just playing. Hey, I love o- I will I admit I love Oakland. I'm an athletics fan, but that's completely different. Sports yeah. is not the city. Right. Uh, so well, it is the city. Oh, baseball, god, boring. James, <laughs> would you say that we were on a on a progressive move to get away from privatized prisons? So didn't New York just ban privatized prisons? Uh, I do actually and honestly I would say that uh, we're still on that move, and I you don't think, think the I Biden think that, Kamala push is no. I, I you mean, don't think they're going to derail this shit to make sure they still get that money? They have a record yeah. of being horrific. They're the Jordan and and, and Pippin, Pippin of, of like, like, privatized don't kill black people. Yes. No, I understand. Like, but they I, but are the goddamn dynamic however, duo but of dastardly. But I think that they have enough pressure behind them on the left mm-hmm. to push them the way they need to go. Do so. I think they're gonna do shit to accomplish anything? No. Realistically, like, uh, or, or, well, uh, I guess meaningfully, yeah. mm, probably not. But we, but I think that you're not gonna see things backslide in a bad way under them. Right. The, right. I think the progressives will stop that. Things I do expect to see, we will get in a better circumstance, well, better situations with our traditional allies. I believe because. These Democrats are globalists in this. Yeah. Set. I mean, Lord. there will be that, uh, whether hey, it's good or gonna, bad. We're going to need those allies, man. Oh, event- fuck them allies. Ev- <laughs> uh, but eventually, the two, the two uh, countries that we don't want to fuck with are teamed up already. So China nope. and Russia are already. That is they've not been as that, close as you think. It's not as close as you think, but they've also been that way for yeah. a long time. And also, fuck China and Russia. <laughs> uh, again, I am a conservative, and I do stand by my conservative beliefs. No, I do not want to make peace with our allies. Blah blah blah. Israel can go do whatever the fuck they want oh, over yes. in the Middle East. Yes. I ain't giving you another dollar. No, I'm in charge. See, no, me. Peace. Israel. Everybody. Everybody. Jeez. Everybody. I'm sorry if you starve. Whatever. It's not my problem. It's your country. Holler at UNICEF. Do I look like UNICEF? This is the United <laughs> States of America. I have people to feed in my own country. Yeah. Yes. And we are starving. <laughs> yes, we are. We have a lot of problems. And fucking, what, what do we have with the stupid corona bill that uh, Donald Trump was actually right about? Like, I mean, $10 billion going to Pakistan for gender studies. 150 like, million in yeah. Egypt for the military. Are they fighting for us? Yeah. Are they fighting for us? Actually, we <laughs> used to, it's not the case now, but we actually used Egypt to interrogate people mm. for us. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, oh yes. Because yeah. the United yeah. States. We're very good at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not. I learned, I learned from the Godfather. You got to yeah, have you, some button men. I understand. I mean, like, <laughs> United it doesn't matter. I ain't, look, oh, we're not paying for this shit. Like, like, how can you sit here and claim, as Donald Trump did, that he's this, uh, this, this great, 
you know, uh, actor who who is stopping a true uh, is stopping wars and all this. Yeah. But you just slush funding money every year to the people that are getting payments wars. for doing this shit right. that you're supposedly against. Like it, it's, it's unbelievable. I was very surprised that he did that though. I I think. You got to cut and Obama's cool. debts off, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, Obama spent a bunch of money doing torturous, horrible, fucking fascist shit. Is that cut the first time a president has done that, though? What's that? No, everyone like, does that. No but, I'm, no, but I'm saying, like, when Trump went through the list and he just started listing everything. Oh. Traditionally, they don't name it off because it's bad to tell no, people about it. Is. Right. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, no, normally we don't do that. I, but no, I was thinking of the president, public. like, you know what else they're going to do? It's, but it's still public record. It's still well, public record. But he's I mean, just he trying just to point out, out, he's trying to point out big numbers. He stood at and, the podium. And, and, and while I agree with him, he can't say that shit when he did it for the last three no. years beforehand. Right. You know, but, like, right. You right. signed it three years beforehand. Now you want to? Like, now it's wrong. Yeah. Well, now you're the you know benevolent one. No, come on, man. He won a lot of people over by doing that, though. Well, he did. Sure. Uh, he, he did. I was over here like I can't argue against what he's saying. I agree yeah. with him. Like, yes, please shut down that bill. You're right. You know, like yeah, that stimulus bill that's attached to the, the, the coronavirus stuff. Yeah, shut it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. We should pay Americans guys. and cut that bullshit out. I don't, I'm not giving ten billion dollars to Pakistan for gender research. Like the, the fuck? The why? Fuck? The fuck? Why? Yeah, like that right there is a perfect cherry after, pick after example. Everything that of, we've done to, after everything we've done to Pakistan, they have a building for gender research. Yo, like, after Pakistan <laughs> no, hosted, we haven't, we how haven't long did Pakistan house Pakistan. Osama bin Laden? Yo, That's the knowingly. Issue. And then we're gonna give them ten billion. Yeah, okay. no. the for gender only, research. The <laughs> only thing that I worry about in Pakistan is the fact that they're on the verge of going to blows with uh, what is it, India, and they're yeah. both nuclear powers. Well, yeah, That's my not, only I mean, fear. They're not really. They're actually not doing too bad that I know of. They they're used doing to be better. They're doing better, but but I don't think that's Trump's doing. I think no, that's just no, in no, general. No, no, let me clear that up. That's a thousand years of two groups of people that oh, yeah, have disliked but, each other. But the fact yeah. that they I'm both have nuclear to... weapons is a problem. Yes, that's a problem. There's also the other problem. China and India have issues with each other. I think over the Himalayas or somewhere in that area. India need to calm the fuck down. And God, damn, don't they like? Aren't, I thought they were like Buddhists. They're peaceful over there. No, they're uh, Hindu. 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 Oh, yeah, India Hindu. and China have well, issues chill with each other. Out. God. Oh, yeah, same course. region. Oh yes. You're yes. fighting and Pakistan no, no, no. and Hin- China. Uh, you gotta pick. They're not battles. fighting; they just have tensions. Yeah, very I mean, bad tensions. You, you want to talk about like fighting? Like, well, they're not really fighting either, but like Taiwan and China, or yes. yeah. or uh, Tibet and well, China. Well, the, the people from Tibet do not actually fight. They're our example yeah. of peaceful people. They just set themselves on fire. And yes, shit, but. Uh, but you go to the <laughs> Taiwan. That's not to be made fun of. That, yeah, like, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Uh, it, it's, they, they're so committed to yeah. nonviolence that they're like. I'm not going to fight you. I'm lighting myself on fire. Yeah. Man, I mean, case. I think China, China views the Dalai Lama as a criminal. The yeah, Dalai Lama. Right. Oh, yes. They have. Oh, yes. No. Oh, yeah. Yes, they have. That's why, uh, that's why the, the Tibetan government yeah. in exile is in Dharmashala, India. Yeah. To Dalai be exact, Lama. and he, w- he mentioned Taiwan. The United States did not recognize mainland China as China when it became a communist nation in 1948. Mm-hmm. The United States recognized Taiwan as China. And there is the issue there because of the fact that the United States has looked after Taiwan for quite some time. And as a historian, you also evaluate what people have done. And recently, the big thing that China has done is been working on a Navy that is not long range, but intermediate that would say, I don't know, raid an island the size of Taiwan. I mean, that's what they've been spending their money militarily at. And that would create a problem there with us and China. Be, well, I think we have Marines on Taiwan. I'm not sure. I, but then again, saying where we have soldiers is really throwing a dart. And we got some there. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. No. But anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I'm not, I don't want to get into the geopolitics no, no, of, no. of the South yeah. Asian Pacific Seas. Um, but, all right. So. With this change, with the uh, and he said he's not going to the inauguration or whatever. I don't think anybody wants him. But with this change going on, do you think he's going to uh, continue to use his political like power? He can try, but I, 
honestly, mm-hmm. if, if the man don't shut the fuck up and go away, uh, there's a little old black lady. She ain't little and old, but there is a black woman in uh, the state of New York named Letitia James, yep. who is the attorney general. She's happy. Who will be happy to put him in prison for the rest of his life. God, and man. she has been building her case for four years. She won the and She's got it. I mean, like, there's no, I mean, Jesus Christ, she could do it alone on yeah. Michael Cohen's stool pitching for her. I mean, uh-huh. his personal attorney who knows all of his dirty tax secrets and everything he's done wrong that way. If I understand correctly, she has his tax information because she of does. the court. Yep. Uh, they have uh, testimony from Deutsche Bank. Which would be his his, uh, his lender, his, his lender, most recent lender, the only lender he, that yeah. would have him over the last ten years. Uh, and to be exact, actually, I think they have the two financial officers who were responsible yes. for directly mm-hmm. because everybody else did not want no, to touch like him. They have everything. Yeah, well, Michael so Cohen. If he is smart, what Donald Trump will do, like I said, is resign and shut the fuck up Forever. and go. Yep, and yeah. go back to Mar-a-Lago and chill. Yeah. And chill. And don't say another word about anything political. That would be the smart move. If he wants to fuck around, he's going to find out. And he can't normally, normally we've always had this understanding that when your political opponents lose, you don't prosecute them for the crimes they had before. Mm. Hell, even Donald Trump did that, a la Hillary Clinton. Mm. I mean, I could literally sleep with my head on the table and win a trial against Hillary Clinton for abusing or mishandling classified information. I mean, I have so many emails that were released to the public mm-hmm. where she, it is clear she mishandled classified mm-hmm. information. Mm-hmm. And there are privates, sergeants, all the way through the military on the low non-commissioned officer end that who way. have been prosecuted and imprisoned yes. for doing this. Hillary Clinton mm-hmm. broke the fucking law. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you could put her in prison for the rest of her life based on that. Yes. But Donald Trump didn't As do it. As we should. As we should. But, uh, but Trump didn't do it because we have a long-standing history of not prosecuting our political opponents once they've lost to us. No. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to get broken with Donald Trump if he wants to play ball. If he keeps fucking around, he's going to find out. And especially, I said that before this insurrection yes. act. But if he really wants to keep going and fucking around after January 6th, he's going to find out. And he'll spend the rest of his life in prison until he dies. To be exact, in the, the amusing part about it being New York in the New York AG, there's no pardon for it. No. The only person that can pardon him would be Andrew, Andrew Cuomo. Yep, you, you, you only no, pardons, that's... pardons pardons from a president are only for federal crimes. State crimes are still wide open. He's right. Wow. And not only that, but the New York legislature yeah. passed a law affirming that just yeah. recently. Oh, and they, they set her up. They up. They, yeah. It's alley oop, baby. Like they literally just toss it up in the air, waiting yeah. for her to dunk it. And, and Letitia James wants it. And, and she has made it she ran on that. That's how she got elected AG of New York. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna prosecute Donald Trump. That's how, <laughs> if you know, that's how she did it, and she is set up Shit. to dunk on him. And the funny part about it is the Democrats that are the New York Democrats would love to see it because Donald Trump has been a pain in their ass for fucking for, thirty years yes. <laughs> since since he yeah. since he stole his father's wealth and yes. probate from his siblings. Like, yeah, no, Donald well, Trump is the you. worst for. <laughs> Long in New York, everyone hates Donald Trump. Like I wanted him in jail since Home Alone too. Let's no, get real. Like, yeah. Everyone, oh. everyone in New York who matters yes. has hated Donald Trump for, <laughs> since he fucking showed up on the radar. The funniest God, thing, because he's a piece of shit. Yeah, and he always has been. Andrew Cuomo and his brother Chris, both the news guy and the governor. Oh, you afraid of? Yeah. The Brandon funniest part guy, is, way, yeah, the, fr- yeah, Chris. And it was uh, shit. Yeah, he snapped. Yeah, Not a great yeah, moment. Man, funny though, he is right there, but sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Chris, but you fucking suck. Uh, <laughs> but hearing their response and how they have spoken about Donald Trump gives you a clue because their family is New York royalty because their father was the. Go- I'm just saying, they're whether you like them or not. 
and whether you respect or not, they're they're New York. They're now. the Lannisters. Oh, I know, but I yeah, mean, they they are. They, oh, yeah, they're the uh, they're the good guys. Not supposedly. the Lannisters. They're they're more like the Tyrells. They're yeah, they're like they're like uh, <laughs> no uh, uh, man. What what are the well? Trump has always just kind of put himself in bed with the mob. Yeah, like he's yes. always been with the mob. Yes, he's he he's a fucking wannabe gangster, and he yeah. has been since the seventies. That's like forty years. Ago. I think he's the biggest gangster we've ever seen. Nah, he's also definitely, man, no. definitely. Yo, definitely. first of all, you are putting disrespect on a lot of names that I come from the big. South. South. I think. Yo, El big. Chapo has something to say to you. No. So does fucking. Uh, but what's but my boy from Medellin. But, yeah. but uh, you know uh, what though, uh, El Chapo, Pablo. El Chapo didn't make it to president of the United States. No, past, El Chapo past, is in prison in the United States. Past, no. He was convicted. No, he was Pre- president. Past, president. You oh, never made a president in the United past States. Past that. Past, past all of that. Oh. Past John Gotti. Past oh, this okay, man. Stop there. John Gotti just. This, <laughs> hold on. Let, this go ahead, Brandon. This man. Fi- look, he found out he was getting investigated. Fired the dude that was going to investigate him. And then let the told the whole government to just stop. But, he just he just let the government shut down under investigation. I, you're gonna you're gonna put me in jail. I, you get no more paychecks. I, I, would, no, <laughs> I would make uh, the greatest American, if you want to call him gangster or power hungry, is was it Mayor Daly of Chicago in the fifties and sixties, the one who basically was given the nickname the Kingmaker. Oh uh, well, King, there have been a lot of kings. Yeah, but he was like, Trump, responsible yeah, yeah. for uh, Kennedy being yeah, elected. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Trump, and that was a mayor. That wasn't okay. But Trump caused a hiatus to his own federal investigation. Oh. I've never seen anybody do it. And then everybody and that every, lied every, for him so he could no, get no, off, no, yeah, he they, just pardoned him right before he left on. They tried, and here's That's the thing: crazy. the American people don't understand. Bob mm. Mueller called that out and found evidence of it. Yeah. And then Bob Mueller did what was right instead of trying to pull some gangster shit mm-hmm. and said, I'm not going to charge him. I can't charge him with anything. It is Congress's job to impeach yeah. him. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Like, straight up. He was like, I have given you the evidence. I can't do anything more than that. These are my findings. Here's your evidence. Four out of ten obstruction charges, yeah. every element of obstruction of justice was met by clear and convincing evidence, at least. That's also the, that's also the difference from a career lawman versus a politician. Yep. Because guys buy the book. Liberals got mad because he didn't do more, but it's like... What do you want the, him to do? He is the poster child of what a federal agent should be, in my yep. opinion. No, Bob <laughs> Mueller is the man. Like, I, I respect him. But he still didn't get impeached, though. No, but that's not... Bob Mueller's fault. No, Bob I'm not, Mueller I'm not, gave I'm you not the evidence. Mueller. I'm just showing more of how well, he he's the biggest him. goddamn gangster ever. Well, right no, enough. it's <laughs> not because of Donald Trump. Make no bones about it. The reason he did not get prosecuted is Mitch McConnell. Yeah. Mitch McConnell is the power behind it, not yeah. Donald Trump. Because Donald if Trump you notice, when Trump started screaming things at the end, McConnell shut it down because McConnell realizes one thing. He has political life left. Trump does not. Yeah. Mm. And that's the problem is that this is a political process. Impeachment is a political process. That mm-hmm. ain't crime. If he thought it was shit, man. If you thought every every crime we got is a political problem, would be a uh, BLM could shut down every prosecution ever against a black man. All it took is oh fuck. You know, like I need them everybody to free, free my homie Daquan. Yeah, you know, I, need, like, I, need, I was about to say, I need yeah, them to get yeah, on that shit. Yeah, right. And they could do that. And, and that would be the way it would work. Because, you yeah. know, like, whatever city, donation like, dollars to use. shit happens in Nashville, yeah. and you have a population that says, well, I don't know, I'm really liberal, and no, fuck that. Free Daquan. You know, no, it don't work like that. That's not but, the same thing. That sounds nice. But in this, well, <laughs> sure. But, but and it, would actually be that way if everyone would realize that district attorneys are elected. Yes. But, <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Everyone district hear that? Attorneys district are attorneys elected. are elected. If you do not like the way crime goes in your area, pay attention to who's running and vote against them. Yes. I hope y'all really pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, like about to I'm about to yes. run for district attorney. You, district can, attorney? you can throw... Whatever dumbass district attorney you have in your jurisdiction, I don't. Do you have to be a Throw lawyer to run for the district attorney? Yes. Ah, okay. But that's okay. You can find plenty of lawyers that will be on your side. 
That's what we do. <laughs> I'm sure you can find somebody who would say something. But all I'm saying is that, that just, keep, just keep yeah. in mind that district attorneys serve at your pleasure as well. Uh, I believe their term of office is eight years. Damn. So you Man, can do, you can really look up and see it. look up and see when your last district attorney was voted in. And if you don't like the way he works or she mm-hmm. works, cast him out. I know. Wait, I, I go know, find somebody. I, I know our listeners. I gotta explain. Your district attorney in the Dark Knight was uh, was Harvey Dent. That's right. That's 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 the district attorney. So the guy that's in charge of the prosecutions where you live is your district attorney. So think of Two Face in the Dark Knight and find out who that guy is where you live. Yep. Okay. And and I not only that, but I mean, like, let's, let's, sure. let's be honest though. Like the district attorney chooses what is prosecuted in court. Yeah. Hands down. No one else gets a say. Mm. In your area. That's why Nashville it, was able to do the thing with the marijuana. Like yep, you us baby, because Glenn Funk has said, I'm not doing shit with misdemeanor mm. possession of marijuana. Like, not, it, Don't bother arresting them, police, because mm-hmm. I ain't prosecuting it. So don't bring it to me. Wow. And he has the power to do that. Yeah, I got so, that. like, I say, in the 22nd Judicial District, which uh, Murray County, Giles County, Lawrence County, Wayne County, the DA there has the power to say, I'm not prosecuting misdemeanor marijuana. Yo, we got to find this guy. <laughs> we we got to find this nigga right now. Like, <laughs> I need one of y'all listening to Google. It would, it would, I was going to say, it will take you two seconds and Google to figure out Somebody Google and drop his name. I'm going to find him myself. Also. <laughs> These I'm writing a traditionally in some stories are your traditional bad guys because these are also the good old boy politics. This is where the good old boys truly live in some in some cases, like Louisiana and stuff like oh, some yep. fiction uh, stories. Very, I, I spent ten years <laughs> yeah. in New Orleans and prosecuted there too. Let me tell you, I can I'm familiar with the good old boy system both here and there. Yes. Right. Well despite the idea that it's only here, it's actually a it's Most everywhere. 50 states, so, so, all know, 50, I yeah. mean, like, again, we talked about yeah. Kamala Harris. Yes. Yes. And yes. Boom. She was the same shit. Boom. Perfect yep. example. Yep. Perfect mm-hmm. fucking example. Right A lot of there. people. A lot of people. You can elect whoever the hell you want to be your district attorney. It, you are not beholden to nope. keep the same asshole as your district attorney. Right. If they aren't doing justice for the people you want to see justice done for, don't fucking vote for them. Damn. It also comes into not know that. the importance of all elections matter. Yep. Ooh, fun fact. Oh, man. I'm a <laughs> Is it a fun oh, fact? Man. Judges are the same way in the circuit court. You can vote. Circuit can court vote. judges, general sessions judges, they're all elected. Don't fucking vote for them. What they f- Run yeah. somebody how against often, them that you, that how, you trust. How... Often are we do we vote for these people? Like how often are they? Uh, I believe it's every eight years for both, uh, both for judges and district attorneys. Actually, yes, I'm positive of that. Now, that yeah. a lot of, it's eight years. Yep, mm-hmm. every yeah. eight years. And these are also the ones that you have to pay attention that are not necessarily going to be at the same time as your national elections. Like right, some of these yeah, positions exactly. Are uh, the odd date like? Well, not only that, but uh, they won't even be matched up with the primaries or no. anything. Right. Uh, I believe you if be I remember informed. correctly now that I'm thinking about it, like say in the 22nd, mm-hmm. which like Murray County's in, right. uh, I believe there are two judges and the district attorney will come up on August or in August of 2022. Uh, do you want to be a judge in your career? Shit, I would love to, but I'm not. I'm not running. I'm not saying anything like oh, that. No, no, no. Way we're, too we're early about, for me. Way yeah. too early. We about to get the who uh, that sponsored uh, campaign. <laughs> I, have, I, I have more important things to do as an attorney than as a judge. Oh, okay. I think, man, look, what we're am about I? The, we're about to sponsor. Look, I mean, bro. I love the idea. Thank you, B. But <laughs> no, I, but I'm not trying to be a judge. No, the, uh, I'm not trying to be the DA. Like, oh, no, this is not me saying anything <laughs> bad about anybody. One of my favorite pieces of political and legal trivia. And also, big guy trivia is the fattest president in our history was also a judge, became a Supreme Court justice after he was president of the United States. Taft. Yeah, Taft. Bathtub Taft. Yeah. Good old bathtub. 350 Taft. pounds of United States president. Got stuck three in, times. In his bathtub. <laughs> oh, wow. 
They had to Chris coat this man out the yes. bathtub. I am not playing. Yeah. I'm not playing. He's right. Oh. They literally had to lube this man out the bathtub. He got stuck in it. His and back rolls and shit like suction cupped him in. And the funniest part is who his best friend was politically. Oh. His best friend was the most athletic president we've probably ever had, Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, hell. Uh, so you got the friendship. fattest president and the most healthy president best were friend. just, yeah, they were buddies. I just pictured Teddy Roosevelt putting Crisco on. on (laughs) (laughs) This shit probably happened at least once. (laughs) Walk in like, man, you got to go. Bill, are you really stuck in the bath again? God damn it. We got to go put a towel over your dick. We got a conference we got to get to. Come on, man. Put a towel over that dick. They have this. They have this wonderful new creation. Yeah, it's called a shower. You don't have to get in the bathtub All right, but this is funny, but this, is, this is why I ain't running for yeah. Judge or DA. Vote for James. <laughs> Put a towel over <laughs> the dick. Put a towel over With your ass stuck in the bathtub, you <laughs> fat, slovenly piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, it's just my favorite piece of presidential big guy. It just Man, the I got fact awesome. the guy had he is in the books three times. He is our heaviest president. Oh my god! You want to talk about my favorite one though? What's up? It was uh, was it McKinley? It was McKinley who just took office and got shot by the guy <laughs> who he didn't appoint postmaster general, yes. right? Oh. And literally the dude goes busting into his office <laughs> with the pistol, mad. And he's like, what are you going to do, shoot me? <laughs> <laughs> as, as a matter yeah, of fact, yeah, it is. <laughs> was it, you know, was that was it. There was one, pre- there's another one, I think it was Taylor. Uh, it's another one of our presidents who died in office, loved his voice so much. He gave a three and a half, his inaugural speech, it was three and a half hours in a rainstorm, and he died God. of pneumonia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where he oh, got wow. pneumonia or whatever yes. from being in out in the rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sound of his voice so much, it killed him. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I do love McKinley up there. Like, what are you going to do? Shoot me? Yeah. Poof. <laughs> he, probably, he probably looked down at the, at the gun like, you know what? Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Well, as a kid. Oh, the- it's the popcorn story all over again. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. Oh, we're not going to name drop who that is. Yeah, we're not going to name drop. That was beautiful. It was what beautiful. What are you going to do? Hit me with that? You going to hit me with that bag <laughs> of popcorn? Done. Out. 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 Knock somebody out with a bag of popcorn. Unpop pop. It wasn't yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah, pop. Yeah. Swear to God, I was right there. He was there for it. motherfucker out with a bag of unpop popcorn. Yeah, he, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, he talking shit. He, got, he was like, what are, you gonna do? what are you gonna do? Hit me with that fucking popcorn. And I took it and I went fat, fat, fat. You I was wondering if you did it too. Yeah. He fat, fat, fat. it out and like crack him. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Yes. Was I'll take back to country with a bag of popcorn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest part is we can look at some of these old presidents, we can laugh at them. But I'm afraid in this circumstance, there's not gonna be much to laugh about. Because oh, of the situation okay, afterwards. Okay, 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 but give it fifty to a hundred years. Yeah, yeah maybe, there, maybe. Yeah. Oh man, okay. Donald Trump is already a joke, but he is going to be a hilarious joke to kids. Like Saturday school, Night Live. In high school civics. No, yeah, but, but like, look at kids in high school civics from okay, fifty okay. to seventy-five years from now. They're going to be like. This motherfucker did what? Yo, well, like, what? It goes Why like, did someone shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> it might go into also the state of what happens in the next few years of if there is that much damage. Okay, well, you got me there. But and we're, we're hoping that yes. that's not the case. Oh, yeah. Know. We can make fun well, of his I mean, hands and his orange skin. I mean, but we, yeah. never, you know, know. we after. never know. We never know. In 2007, we thought we had seen the worst when it came to Bush type thing. And everybody but, thought that, sh- that, was the, that was the worst. Yeah, I thought but, it. I thought in 2013 we saw the worst of Obama. You know what I mean? So it just keeps... I, we might we might get in here by by 2025. That next guy after Biden is just like... But no, come you'll on. You believe this look, 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 look. We hoping and praying that the Republicans get their shit together. It looks like they're on that... that that path, but oh, give me God. another establishment Republican. Give me a, give me a libertarian, even better. But let, let me jump but, like, in. Give me that Rand Paul. Yeah. Where Rand Paul at? Like, can I get? Uh, a Rand where is Rand fucking Paul? Oh, Rand Paul was over here telling everybody to shut the fuck up. I'm not voting against states' election results. Right. Y'all yeah. can fuck off. So yeah. let me give me a wrong. Rand Paul. Where? Let's please Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on, everybody. Let, let me let me jump in here. Okay. So, with the last little bit of our show, because we're already at an hour and a half. Here. Oh, yeah, man. Sorry, yes. Fine, so, look, look, look. This is by far my favorite episode. 
what do you guys think the Republican Party is going to do next? And what what I mean by that, I feel like they're just going to have to restructure the entire Republican image altogether. Yeah. So what do you, let me get y'all's thoughts on that. Ending thoughts here. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to look at historically. This could be the birth of a new party. And since that the Republican Party as the Republican Party might go the way of the Whig and we will get something from the ashes. That Trump put enough into it that Republican as a name will be too poisonous or venom. No, we'll say poisonous to continu- continue. They got a rebrand. A rebrand. They got to do a Basically, the Whigs did it to become the Republicans yeah. in the essence. So it will be the whole idea that the next phase of the party will come in its new name and its its platform. I oh, think that's shit, revenge of the Sith. Right. Oh no, no, it, it, it happens. It, it happens in our history a lot. It happens. A, <laughs> it happens a lot. Oh. Like even the Democrats used to have a big name. That's but that's Jefferson, like. Yo, Jeffersonian uh, Democrats, stuff like that. Yeah, let's yeah. talk. Yeah, let's talk about Southern Democrats in <laughs> yeah. the sense that there was a big old switch. I don't know yeah. if you remember, but yeah. if you're out here as a yeah. black man, Democrats, you need, uh, to read. you need to go back you need and to read. read and remember what you that name read. meant for a long time. Well, not just time. Democrats, uh, not just the Southern read. Democrat. It's yeah. the next stage that of the Southern Democrat evolved into the Dixie crowd, which oh, was a bunch yeah. much worse. Exactly. That's what I'm saying yeah. is that you got to keep in mind what you're, what you're pushing. Yes. Re- well, I'm just saying but that re- it will be a rebrand and probably a rename. I think just, I just, <laughs> history has said that that usually is the precedent that happens. I think, I think you're right about that. Honestly, um, I'm hoping. So if they do a God, rebrand, if they do a rebrand, what's the new animal? I, I kind of like elephants. What's the new? What's the new? Uh, animal? I mean, I like the elephants. Oh, they didn't yeah. lost if that elephant. A new, yeah. If I gotta get a new animal, can we get like a platypus or something? <laughs> like, I mean, I love platypus. Get a porcupine. A, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't have the porcupine. Libertarians have the porcupine. Already. Yeah, I know. I know. I, right, right. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak one up in yeah, there. Nice try. Nice <laughs> try. All the way. But anyway, fucking no. liger. <laughs> <laughs> what's the new animal Man, for the Republican Party? It's a liger. What's up? It's a liger. Uh, Fuck no, no, I got a liger. Like, I think the Republicans got to revamp, though, for real. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the next step. if we stick with this neo populist bullshit that we got from Donald Trump, we will be relegated to the heap of Nazis, fascists, oh, yeah. and all that bullshit that we dealt with in the 30s out of Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, no, we will be left in the heap pile of that. Man. Yeah, I feel, we I feel that. Do that. We I feel like. See, I feel like there's Republicans and then there's there's trumpets, and like those are two different things now at this they, point. They, well, but they're not going to identify like that, so there's gonna be, have yeah, to be some sort they, of change for that. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, uh, is that Can I, I used to feel that way too before we get done with that. Mm-hmm. But I used to feel that way too. But honestly, everyone that I loved and respected, at least in the Tennessee political realm, that was conservative that was a never trumper or something like that. Mm-hmm. They're all bootlickers now. Every mm-hmm. fucking one of them. And they embarrass me. Mm-hmm. They disgust me. Damn, they're four years. And and I think it's, it's time to jettison all of them. Like you got to fucking go. You are not part of what I want to see for a conservative party in the future. Or oh, the world. You are a disgusting <laughs> human being. Like I, that if you really truly Love neo populism that you got from Trump, that Trumpism in your heart, mm-hmm. yeah. and you're staring at it and loving it after what the shit you saw this week. Pff, something's wrong with you. Yeah, there's a there's a corruption in your soul. Okay. Mm-hmm. You are not right. Mm-hmm. You gotta go. Let me and ain't no one gonna vote for you. Like I mean, you might get your little pockets of of old baby boomer racists and shit that mm-hmm. might. But they won't last forever. No. They will die, yeah. and the people that are my age will cast you out with a fucking vengeance. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Don't do it, or you'll end up like Mussolini or some shit, strung from a gas station sign. Yeah. So let me ask you this, man. That's mine. Do you feel like this push for Donald Trump was really a push for Donald Trump, or was it a push for white supremacy? I cannot answer that because I honestly can't tell you. Um, okay. 
I I was curious. I have my suspicions. Right. But that'd be speculation. Mm. Was, I don't know. Was it one but of those? But I will tell you that I think that the shit that Donald Trump pushes and that his supporters push, by and large, seem to align very closely with the white supremacist messaging. I, other than that, I am not going to condemn anybody who just happens to be a Trump supporter as a white supremacist. I think that their ideals align very closely with white supremacists. Mm -hmm. I think that white supremacists glom on to their ideals and Mm -hmm. their positions and Donald Trump, and that's Mm -hmm. evident across the board. Mm -hmm. But I'm not just trying to say that anybody who voted for Donald Trump, anybody who, you know, happens to support him is a white supremacist. No, I personally think that anybody at this point, as of, what is today, the 10th of January? Yeah. Anybody on the 10th of January, 2021, who really is still adamantly for Donald Trump, you have been brainwashed. And you have lost your way. And that I want you to know, those of us who haven't, we welcome you back with open arms. Yes. And that, that, that man, I'm here to tell you that I'm pushing a conservative agenda on it, but you got to let this Trump shit go. Like, that's got go honestly well, I'm, I'm gonna let you jump in but i just want to say about the um republican rebranding real quick i think that all they gotta do like that not even like a rebrand exactly get the trump shit out make it evident that it's out and then at the end of these four years after biden i think i think it's just at that point goldfish Type of, yeah, you know uh, what I, mean? I mean, honestly, if the, if the Republicans can do it, the, the I really we could easily be the Dems in twenty twenty four. I really, I really think if they stay quiet and they just yeah, let the this four good. years play out, because I I think that there's a few situations where the Dems are gonna you know kick themselves in the ass, and I think if they just like chill, they could probably come back in and be like, hey guys, I know you know the last guy wasn't right, but we got a new new and improved. <laughs> I think the Democrats, when you look at that though. There are three people that are causing internal fighting in the Democratic Party, and that is Joe Biden, he, even though he's just elected, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. yeah. Because these, there are younger Democrats that are coming out, the more progressives, and these three are considered issues. Yeah, dinosaurs of the yeah. Democratic Party. Yeah. Sure. But going back to the Republicans, 2024 should not be where they set their sights. If they really want to rebrand, they got two years. Oh. Take control of the Senate. Oh, take yeah. control of the House. Do mm-hmm. not wait two years. The presidency matters. True. But you, you take back need... the House. You take back the Senate. You you have two years to rebrand. You're right. Mm. And I, I fear that if if they're so short-sighted in their goals on that end, that it's just going to be a repackaging of neopopulism again. Well, and they probably will still win. And it's all well, here's the thing that... And that dooms this country. Here's what Trump loyalists have done. Georgia went blue for president and two senators. Georgia is one of the reddest states in the country. These should not be this. They have Atlanta and they have the, but for the most part, that state is red in the the good portion of it. And I will say, if it was any other circumstance, I think it would have been a Republican state for president. It's, it oh, was yeah. an alliance. It was an alliance of convenience. Stacey Abrams did what she said she was going to do. Oh yeah, she that woman worked hard for to beat Nailed Trump. It. Yeah, no, she didn't say about Trump though. She implemented but, a yeah. plan just to turn Georgia blue, and I mean Georgia was going to turn blue anyway. I mean it's like Texas. Texas is going blue. Uh, yeah. You can scream and kick and stamp your so feet. So is this going to turn want. into? All right, so if the Republicans aren't able to rebrand, right, is this going to turn into uh, the whole everything is blue? And then no, now no, you're trying, no, 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 you're trying no, 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 no. Make no bones about it. That won't happen. There no. are some states that are There red. are a lot of states but, that aren't going blue. But yeah. I'm saying an eventuality, like, like, red like, per, like progressive, when we're thinking like progressive, no. at some point the progress is going to get to a point to where. No. Okay. There are not states. A uh, you will. I'm telling you right now on that end, you are not going to see progress. Progressives take control. I can okay. name four states right now off the top of my head that will never be progressive. Yeah, in, in that are blue. That are blue states. I'm telling you, yeah. progressives will not take control. The 
Democrats have given up on Mississippi. For the most part, Alabama yeah, yeah. is abandoned. Yeah, Louisiana is pretty much abandoned because these Shh. are yeah. these are firm. These yeah. and the closest chance we had to get in South Carolina was this past time going against Lindsey Graham, who was a complete Trump man, yeah. and we lost. Yeah. So yeah. those are states that I I just don't. I believe. mean, I'm not saying they couldn't change, but who cares? I mean, all, <laughs> well, who cares? <laughs> they is, don't have enough. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They're not battleground states, and no one gives a shit. If you want to talk about actual politics, yeah, like on a national I think level, the, I you think the Republicans will be able to bounce back, man. I, I, and this is why I say it. I really think that uh, that the, it it hinges on how this vaccine rollout goes. If they fuck up this 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 rollout, then that's enough cannon fodder to, to use as a hey. I mean, you didn't like us, but they didn't do that much that's better either, either. Man, that's too short sighted. No, it's that's for they can get right on it. Right. Yeah. they can get right on it though. The, I will use that shit it, straight to my advantage. We got the we got the cancer out of here. I got a little bit of ammo to where I can say these guys aren't doing yeah, good. So where do the Republicans get credit for that? That's it's not yeah. even about getting credit. It's about discrediting. So now you can at least stand up to them. You know what I'm saying? When it comes you, to votes, you have what's going to end up happening is poli- the politics. I think will be a war for states, and then everybody else will go accordingly. Yeah, I uh, think. Well, it, maybe six, eight, but but I think the, it's going to be the big four. Because Florida has forced its way into the big three. Because it used traditionally, the United States has been New York, California, and Texas. Well, yeah, like Florida most... is now passed or tied for New York in electoral votes. They're both 29. Well, we'll see how the census turns out. Man. Yeah, that's true. But then again, I California. I about going... that. That was last yeah, that, year. Miss, well, Shit, the census, what a year. The census does determine <laughs> where your electoral votes are. Yeah. But uh, I do also believe because what's happening, California is going to lose some, and those are going to go somewhere. Because there has been a migration because of taxation. S- in Tennessee, maybe. Well, Tennessee, Tennessee feels is, like it's growing. Tennessee is growing. It's the fastest growing state in the country, and it has been for years. Yes. So, yeah, we'll probably pick up some electoral votes. Probably. But they won't stay red. Yeah. Definitely here. So, definitely. well, that's a big fear in Texas is like people are moving into Texas. And so, they're all blue. Yeah, and they're all blue, which mm-hmm. should turn the state blue in turn. Well, in, in all fairness, I mean, most of the shit moving in ours is turning blue too, but we're not even close to fucking turning blue. Well, Whereas we, Texas has been borderline for a decade or two. Well, some of the uh, like uh, conservative <coughs> media has moved to Nashville. Like, uh, what's his name? Oh, Ben, ben Shapiro. Shapiro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is I, he, uh, is I he got headhunted. Yeah. I got headhunted for Ben Shapiro's <laughs> general counsel for his media <laughs> shit, and it was the laugh. I mean, oh my god, it was so laughable. Like mm-hmm. the actual like shit they sent me was. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at it, but I couldn't even uh, like. It was like be a member of a credible bar, and I was like, what? It's a credible bar, isn't that like any state bar? Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, uh, what? You know, I was like, oh, okay, no, no, I don't want to do yes. that. Yeah, Pineapples, <laughs> yes. you ain't paying me, like, I need to get paid. Right. Work for I need that Sarah Huckabee Sanders check. Yeah, like, I need that. You know. <laughs> So look, I'm gonna reel it back in here. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Y'all got any final thoughts here? That was it. Because we are we're pushing the time limit. Really. Sorry to waste your time, y'all. No, you didn't waste the time. What? Uh, we'll Go say ahead. from our point of view, uh, congratulations to the, uh, actually, the one that mainly is uh, Raphael Warnock for being the first black senator from Georgia. Reverend All Warnock. right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. 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 Yeah. Hey. Congratulations to uh, Joe John, Ossoff, yeah. too, for pulling it off for one of those races he dumped a shitload of money into. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but seriously, actually, thank you for uh, just slowing down this horrible Trump machine. Yeah. John Arsoff, uh, after he was the uh, pitcher where they extended his nose because he was Jewish. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. That's yeah, that was a big was. thing where they uh, Purdue's campaign blew up, it made him more of a Jewish nose. Well, uh, and then on that same note, then, uh, you God, know, damn. bon voyage to Senators <laughs> Purdue and Loeffler. <laughs> yeah. 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 And your insider traded. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, mean, I mean, innocent until proven guilty. But true, true. Yeah. Bon voyage either way. Uh, bon voyage to Donald Trump. It has been real. It has been <laughs> real. Uh, enjoy your trip real. to New York. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. He's a resident of uh, Florida now. Well, the AG might want him to come to New York. Well, the AG might force him to come to New York. But I do hope that he takes my advice 
It would be the smart thing to do. And this is, uh, fingers crossed, that uh, Don Jr., Eric, and Ivanka disappear. Yeah. Yes. That would also be the very smart thing. <laughs> yes. Of course, they have time to be they have time to be pardoned. Yes, they do. Especially Don Jr. Because man, I got to go back to that Trump Tower meeting and wonder what the fuck you think was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different thing. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of anybody else uh, that really deserves congratulations. Mitch McConnell. Oh. Uh, it's also been real. <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> to hear your name. Spoken as Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Dude, Mitch McConnell is America's villain. Yeah, that America's make, villain. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, McConnell wait a minute. You want to talk villain. about a motherfucking gangster? <laughs> yeah. Fuck Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell, the turtle? That the man. Turtle. That we, man right there is a gangster. Yes. Yeah. But, I, look, I know what it's like when two dudes don't like you. and You, gotta, you might see him out in public. I can't imagine... Uh, half the country like where my two grand at Mitch like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got my twisted teeth yeah. Yeah. where you at yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got my money Mitch yeah. you got Mitch my better money. have my money yeah, yeah, they, and <laughs> they vandalized his house and Nancy yeah, Pelosi's yeah, yeah. And yeah. Pelosi's as well but Mitch, um, Mitch got it I love Mitch better have my, my money yeah. 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 Mitch yeah. better not kill my vibe yeah <laughs> well, and on that note Congratulations to the spineless wonder, Chuck Schumer. Oh, yeah. majority yeah, of you. you know, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the spineless wonder, Chuck Schumer. Yeah. Congratulations, Chuck. You get to take over Mitch McConnell's role, and you'll be nowhere near as effective. Right. No. Because there's no, one no, man no. that's going to give him so much hell. Joe Manchin, time for you to be the douche that all Democrats know you can be. Right. Uh, yeah. um. This is our Manchin. West Virginian senator, correct? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. that fucking spit. He's what I call 70 30 senator. He votes Republican 70% of the time. He votes Democrat 30% of the time, which is 30 more percent than a Republican would vote for our policies. Right, right, right. So, well, I mean, whatever. <laughs> you know, Joe, <laughs> Joe, I would like you <laughs> if you chose the 30% of Republicans. Or Republican matters that actually matter. Yes. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a lot better if you could do that. Oh, but. Joe. Hey, <laughs> eh, whatever. Hey. Here's yeah. here's here's to 2021. Same yeah. shit, different year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we will find out when the next presidential election comes that we'll all behave in not quite as bad a way, but it'll be a similar way where somebody will be pissed off at the end of it. And before it's over, people would threaten to leave the United States because their party. Oh, not that's so old. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> going yeah, I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Canada. You know, I'm a firm believer, though, Canada, if you really throw it out there, though, <laughs> the, it should be the federal government's Ooh, responsibility to send you the plane ticket through the mail. Like, if you, if you are that outspoken. Mm-hmm. We were actually going to talk about that. Will they also <laughs> pay to pay my way for citizenship somewhere else? Because. Wait, well, what? what are we talking several about? Countries that are more lucrative. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we're not talking about it. nothing. We can't do it this episode. Yeah. 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 That's, That's an afterthought. That's an audio show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, Brandy, sign us out, man. Don't take the vaccine. Be safe. <laughs> uh, stay blessed. Don't stress. Life is just a test. Until next Sunday at six o'clock. We hope that you uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah. There we go. Move yes, in. more than Move that, in. you're prosperous. Yeah. <laughs> Things go well for you. Good luck and good fortune. Right. Yes, that, uh, not, that too. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out, y'all. Peace. You're now rocking with DJ. Ooh, got to be my imagination. I think it's in the